Right, a quick video on troubleshooting branch cache. So I'm going to start by verifying the client status. So I've installed the feature as well just to make it so it, it shows up everything which we need to. So I'm going to go to command prompt, the admin. You could still do this in PowerShell. And I'm going to SSH branch cache and I want it to show status and all the parts. So it will show me all about it and I, I'm best to check stuff like current status and how much the cache size is and stuff like that. So that's kind of a few of the useful things to do. You can also just check the networking status but you might also just want to check general networking issues if you're having issues. Right, I'm also just going to have a quick look and I'll use the run command and I'm going to look at performance monitor or you can type in perfmon into run. So when I go onto performance monitor I'm just going to change it to report and I'm just going to add and head up to branch cache there it is. I'm going to get branch cache and what I'm looking for is the SMB bytes from cache which I'm going to add and I'm going to add bytes from the server and then these should if it's working should go up. This isn't a live environment so they won't show anything but if I was in a live environment then I could okay the other things to check are just the GPOs are set up correctly that you have allowed through the firewall port 80 TCP port 80 the HTTP and UDP port 3702 and lastly you can also check the event logs. So I'm just going to get up event viewer and I'm just going to have a look under applications and services. Microsoft and then I want Windows and then there's under here once I get to it there's branch cache so I can look at that and just see what events I've got okay and that's everything about the branch cache troubleshooting okay